Your hosts, Tony Howe, Thomas Connors, and Robert Connors. Greetings, gentlemen. Greetings, greetings. Greetings to all our listeners. This is Forget Work, Watch Film. I'm here. My name's Tony. I'm joined by Tom. Say hello, Tom. Hey, everyone. And I'm joined by Rob. Hi there, how you doing? I mean, you didn't need an invitation to say hello, I just knew we were going to do it. <laughs> uh, so, not loads to talk about, but I think we've got one big thing to talk about. Oh, Something God. that's uh, happened to you two guys while you were foraging in the fields of Bonnie Scotland. So, basically, we're going to embellish on this, but it's going to start with this story that you're going to tell. And it's about meeting celebrities so I could even say it's about beating your icons so I'm going to pass this one over to you two guys fight between yourselves who tells it but let us know what happened to you this week in Scotland right so last week with two of us had watched strangely we'd watched a programme called the Bill Murray stories if you remember we spoke about last week Bill Murray. Bill Murray. Basically, what it is, it's a, it's a documentary about how Bill Murray just turns up in the strangest places, like in people's houses or at people's parties. Yeah. Mm. He's a spontaneous, off-the-cuff guy, and we met him. We was with Bill Murray for ages. Right. Chat so he embellished that out. Yeah. Because you, uh, you, you, yep. you can't just meet him. Yeah, but anybody out there who thinks, oh, my God, Bill so Murray. Just... So people are clear on this. To meet Bill Murray for me was was like my it was like meeting God. He's an hero. I met Arnold Schwarzenegger once at a charity event that I had to pay for, and I was happy to pay it. But this was meeting Bill Murray in his natural habitat. This was just unbelievable. It was just I just it, yeah, it was like a almost like a pilgrimage in a way. When, so, so come on. So say, where we are, where we are, yeah, what we are doing? Yeah. You didn't walk into Bill Murray's house, so you went to his natural well, habitat. Tell so. you what, I saw. I Rob, me being Rob, I sort of instigated this from the start. So what I'll do is, I'll lay it on from the top, and I'll take us to the golf course and what happened then. Yeah. So, family holiday to Scotland, right? We went a couple of years ago. We loved it. Thought it was brilliant. Decided to go this year. But this time, you'd see, well, since last time, I've had a, a little girl, I've got a little daughter, right? She's a year and a half. So I'm sat in living room, I'm sat in living room on this trip, and I, I'm just watching telly, and she come running in, and she went, Dad! Dad! And she had a bag in her hand. And I opened this bag, and it was a Ghostbusters DVD. I says, where have you got this from? And it was the... And look behind her, and my dad stood there beaming. He's beaming. You know, he's, she's just giving me Ghostbusters as a surprise. Turns out it was the women's Ghostbusters. It was the 2016 <laughs> one. I says, I goes, where have you got this from? Who's give you this crap? Where have you found this? Emilia, take it to the bin. Look behind her, and my dad's mortified. He's looking at me mortified, and he says, oh, I haven't bought that one, have I? I says, what? You've, you've given this? Yeah, yeah, I gave it her as a. I, I thought I'd read we had a, we had a DVD play. I thought we could watch it. We, oh, oh, I've messed that one up, Anta. Ah, oh. so he walks off, throws it in bin. He's good, and I ripped him a little bit too much for buying me that. So um, that'll teach you, Dad, to do something nice. <laughs> so yeah, it was oh, it was good because I proper ripped him. Anyway. Right. This, is, this story yeah. took a strange no, turn. No, it did. It did. It did. It was September 27th. It did. Yeah. 
It did. <laughs> there were bodies everywhere. Yeah. So that were it. We were talking Ghostbusters fizzled out. My dad thought it'd be a cool treat. Anyway, a couple of hours passed. This is like on a night. This is like eight. Well, no, about seven o'clock at night. Anyway, he says he's reading newspaper a couple of hours later, and he goes, "Rob, speaking of Ghostbusters." Bill Murray's in Scotland. So you are. This is Bill Murray's in Scotland. How about that one? Eh? So, uh, give me that newspaper. So he passed it me. And Bill Murray had had a car crash on the way to a golf event near where we were staying. So my dad says, you might not be able to watch film, but you could go and meet Bill Murray. Joking. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to look into this. So I googled where it was he was going. I googled what day it would be. I was researching, you know, when he'd be there. So, basically... So you're basically tracked him down like yeah. Don the Bell. But this is the like that John Travolta film, innit? That fanatic one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I haven't seen it, but... But this this is a... This is a so, Bill Murray is known as the elusive... He's like a unicorn, innit? He is known as the elusive one, innit? So that's how you found out where he was going to well, be. Well, no, just as a thing. So, I'm sat in living room on my own, and I thought... It said, so it said, I read that he was potentially going to be on the old golf course at St. Albert's, um, I think it's St. Albert's. St. Andrews. Isn't Saint, it? Sorry, St. Andrews Golf Course. Yeah. But it was two and a half hours away from where we were staying. So This what, just makes us sound like right. Like, so I, <laughs> stuck, but, it? but we had no plans the following day when I read Bill Murray was going to be on this golf course. So would you risk driving two and a half hours to meet one of your heroes would you do it yes you would yes but you're saying that because now it paid off for us no if that... but I think if, you'd, if you've got no planned then you've got no to lose mm. so, that, so I jumping sa- car so I'm sat there and I'm writing it, I'm writing a few things down on my phone and I'm thought somebody is telling me Bill Murray will be here at this time on this day and I'm in Scotland if I was at home It'd take me seven hours to get there. Yeah. It'll take me seven hours. Now it'll take me two hours. What have I got to lose? So I went up to everybody else. Everyone sat in hot tub, and I went up. I says, "Right, here's here's what's happening. Bill Murray is going to be on this golf course tomorrow. He's going to tee off at nine thirty. It's two and a half hours away. What do you think?" My dad, t- my dad was saying, right, you're an idiot. There's no way you're going to meet Bill Murray. He's going to be surrounded by security. No, 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 no. So anyway, we decided to get up at 7 o'clock in the morning and drive two and a half hours to this golf course where all these stars would be. This is all based off my dad just casually seeing that he were in newspapers. He'd had a bump. So drive two and a half hours the following morning. We arrive at the golf course. I... Pull up at these big massive gates. Security just turned around and looked at me and went, "Can we help you?" And I've just driven like, you know, it's first first thing in the morning. He says, "Yeah, yeah, I'm uh, I'm here to spectate the golf." Right. Well, where do I park? If you go right down there, you'll be able to park in the visitors' car park. Right. Will I still be able to get back here? Yes. Just do 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 do. So I think when I first when he first looked at me, I'm thinking, "What the fuck am I doing here?" You know, when you're kind of thinking, "Am I even allowed?" You should have here? said, "I'm here to play." I'm, yeah. Uh, well, that's the thing. I'm Rob. It's Rob and Tom from Forget, uh, Forget Work, Work Watch Film. Yeah. But this is the Forget, thing we were doing: Forget Work, play golf. <laughs> all all I'd read that there was a viewing area. So how do, how do, how do you know whether you're on a platform and the golfing two miles that way? You don't know. So he said, drive over there, that's the car park. So at this point, obviously, it's quite early in the morning. My hands are getting a bit shaky and I'm thinking, holy, this better pay off. Whereas I was still half asleep and just thinking that we weren't going to meet him. I, I, I didn't get me up, so I just thought, here's what it is, they are. This, like I say, I've still got it in my mind that um, we'd been chatting Ghostbusters because my dad gave me the Ghostbusters DVD and he'd bought the wrong one. And an hour later, I said, oh, forget that, forget... Ghostbusters DVD Bill Murray's actually here no 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 so anyway we arrive at the golf course and uh, I'll take a seat I'll take a step back I'll, I'll listen right over to you yeah I mean I don't want to make it sound like it were um, we hunted him down but we basically went for a walk 
hunting him down. <laughs> no, to go and watch. And uh, I'm a football fan, and I saw Rude Ullick taking a, a, a shot on his course. And because of the programme that we'd bought, I knew that Bill Murray weren't far behind him. So I asked one at Stewards where, like, whereabouts Bill Murray would be. He says, if you wait by that flag, he'll be there in 10 minutes. So we walked over to the flag, we stood there thinking, right, is Bill Murray going to turn up? Like, And then he walked around the corner, and all three of us were like, <gasps> but there were nobody else at this hole either. We'd been looking at all these different celebs on the course, saying, is that Bill Murray? Is that Bill Murray? And there were a guy with a hat on, and I thought it were him. I thought, oh my God, he's there. We're never going to get near him. Look at him. Turned out it were a completely different guy. I don't even know who it was. But when I saw the Bill Murray, you you know, it's one of them, you can't mistake him. You know it's him. With what he's wearing, the way we're walking. No staff around him, just him and his assistant, like his caddy. But his caddy, yeah. Yeah. So, he and he walked around, and there were nobody else at this course watching him. And it was just weird, because it were like, there were no security, there, were, there weren't loads of fans... So we just walked up this hall and he walked around the corner and we were like, oh my God, it's the man, it's Bill Murray. And he walks along the course and he just turned and looked at us and he said, how are you guys holding up? You staying hydrated? And we were like, yes, Bill, how are you? It's like, I'm fine, thank you. And it was just... It, it, you could see, you know, sometimes you see people and you don't know whether they're avoiding eye contact. You yeah. know, like, you, you don't want to make... He was trying to get eye contact. He was looking See, at I, I'd love that. I'd yeah, love that. Yeah, he was. Because that's the thing with meeting celebs. You don't want to be you like... You don't yeah. know what they're going to be like. It's they're going like to be when dick. you make Because it, it's like... <laughs> but it's like, oh, isn't it? Everybody hates rejection. And these people you're in awe of. Yeah. So if they reject you, if you sort of like red eye contact, yeah. and they like well, look down or they basically look away and you can tell they like think you fuck off. Yeah. yeah. Then you you feel gutted. Well, that but the fact that you were trying to make eye contact, yeah, right. that's brilliant. So and it were a great sunny day and, great, and we exchanged pleasantries and that and then he he, he were gonna he were waiting for his turn on golf course. And he went stood far from us, so I just said, Bill, is there any chance we can get a photo with you? And he turned around and he like glanced at us for a sec. And then he just pointed and he said, go and wait by that grey box over there. And that meant to us that, yeah, I'll have a photo, just so, wait there. I know I said I was going to take a step out, but it's hard not to jump in. So Bill Murray says to you, go and wait by that grey box. So A, the trip's paid off. B, we're sat over there waiting because he, he's on his way. He's prioritised spare time to come over it, to it's us. It's the fact that I know how much Bill Murray means to both of you. <laughs> That's what gets me buzzing. Yeah. Is the fact is that to me there is nobody else in the world that I know you two would love to meet. <laughs> and the fact that he's there and you're talking to him. Oh my god! Must have been mm. the so, most. Yeah, it was. So he says, "Go and wait by that so, grey box." That's so, like saying, "I want to say oh. that we just casually said all right and walked to the grey box, but we didn't. We full on legged it right corner, got to this grey box. We ran round there, and we were all like." Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, he's gonna have a picture with us. What do we do? What do we do? What do we... I actually said, take a picture of me so I can see what I look like on a photo so I know what to do. Because <laughs> <laughs> I thought, we're like, we've only got one shot at this, which is a Ghostbusters quote. And um, we were waiting by it. And then, I mean, we don't need to tell you what happened then. The video is on our Instagram. Um, he approached it, is, us. Have you posted it on Forget Where yeah, Watch for, Play? At Forget Where Watch, watch, watch Film. Watch film. If you've not watched it, go on. Forget work, watch films, all one word on our Instagram and watch it. Um, yeah, I mean, what else can you say? So, well, I, 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 I seriously, people, watch the video. Yeah. It is something else. Well, I've watched it several times. We're stunning. And it is absolutely amazing. If you've talked about meeting your icons and wanted it to be as memorable as possible, that is it. It could get more memorable if he'd invited you around for tea. Well, we're stood next to this grey box and he took his shot, gave his club to his caddy and he just gets ready, limbs up and he just... Bill Murray is what... Bill Murray, Venkman, Phil Connors is walking towards us. Nobody else is there, just us three. Nobody's with him. He's just walking towards us, ready for a chit-chat. It's quite... When you think about it, it's uh, it's quite awkward because these celebrities are in teams going around this course, and he was with Luke Wilson, who we didn't even know were there for about an hour. Bro- we, brother of Owen Wilson. Yeah, we were know. so wow. fixated on Bill Murray, but um, 
Yeah, I mean, I think Luke, Luke Wilson probably knows you know that he, he were going to get that because Bill Murray's the man, isn't he? So like, we've, we've got to talk. So we're stood next to this grey box. He finishes his swing and he starts walking towards us. Bill Murray is headed towards us. He leans on the grey box and I think and he, and he were sort of panting as if to say, oh, I'm tired. Pops lid open, pulls a can out, chucks me a can, pulls another one out, chucks us a can, and then he got a third one and brought it over. He st- and then he starts walking towards us, come up, I says, I have to do a cheers with Bill Murray. So I got my can and we cheers. He's like, hey, you guys, friends, just started chatting to us one-on-one. There's nobody else. Please, please <laughs> watch the video. There's no, there's nobody jumping around excited. There's no, Bill, Bill, can I get a picture? Can I get this? He just walked over to us. It, it, I mean, like I say, watch the video because it is unbelievable. Well, it, it, that, it, to me, is the epitome of meeting your icon, meeting a top celeb, yeah. and, and everything going right. It's like when I met Arnie, it was literally like seconds, one in, one out. And I got see, to take hand and have a photo, which is all good, but this was like natural, see, old-timing world. Yeah. See, let's, we, so that, we've got the story. Yeah, obviously you met... Bill Murray, amazing. Down, so, Bill. what I obviously want to talk about is let's embellish on that. So, meeting celebrities, and I think you've touched on it, Tom. Is you can meet celebrities at the at events. So you can meet. We've met so many celebrities at yeah. conventions, uh, and then you can have like one on ones where you meet Arnie. We've done Sylvester Stallone, but Good it's meeting, but it's though. meeting. We didn't meet Stallone, did we? Well, we saw him. We were yeah. in front of us. <laughs> Good enough. Uh, <laughs> But it's like meeting celebs in a sort of like environment. Do you remember when we met? We bumped into Jude Law in London. Yeah. See, that were quite good because yeah. that were like that was about straight, ten years ago. That was something yeah, straight out at no. Imagine that, but no other fans. Yeah. No, no security, no staff. So, so what I'm, I think what I'm trying to say is, what would you would would you rather sort of like pay to go and see a celeb or? Or up to track them down like you did with... No, I don't think... If you sort of like knew that, I don't know, they were playing, they were playing in uh, a theatre in York. No, yeah. Would you then go and like up to meet them outside or at their hotel? I don't like or that. Would you, or if they were like, you knew they were at a comic convention, would you rather go to a comic convention? Yeah, I mean, I don't like the idea of, of tracking them down and hunting them. I think that sounds a bit creepy. Obviously, with this instance, we had to do it because it would Bill Murray... You can never tell where he's going to be at any given time because he's so... I've read, I've heard that even on film sets, they don't know if he's coming until he turns up. Well, the interesting thing with Bill Murray, he has no management, doesn't have a manager, doesn't have advisors, he doesn't have an agent, and he doesn't have a mobile phone. He literally just goes and does what he wants. Now, he's the only person I would have done that for, like... If, there, if I were going to a convention and there was somebody there who I really admired and I wanted a picture with, yeah, I'd go along and I'd pay. But there's nobody else who who I would track down and go and purposely <coughs> try and meet. I just don't think uh, there's anybody... Uh, well, there is, but he... Uh, he sadly... Jim Carrey? I was going to say Michael Jackson then, for anybody who wanted to know. Uh, he's the only person I would have... Yeah, Jim... Uh, if somebody said to me, Jim Carrey's two hours away doing this year, you can go and see him. I probably would, yeah. But, don't but I, would, I, I wouldn't like... We didn't I don't know. know. You, your instant thought is, never going to happen. It's, we we didn't know we it. were even going to see Bill Murray, though. That was the gamble. It paid off massively, but we could have driven two and a half hours for nothing. But the difference between the things that you've just said... So Bill Murray comes over to chat to us as a form of human, in, like one-on-one, person-to-person. So there were no, oh, Bill... Are you in Ghostbusters 3? Oh, Bill, can you sign me this? Oh, Bill, for my friend. It were, hi, you know, that chatting. In the situation, yours, there's excitement, there's fans, there's photographers, there's da 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 I think, I think you caught him in a place where it's not usual for people to go there in a more relaxed environment. It's yeah. not advertised. It wasn't a comic it's was not it? advertised. I mean, they're, not- they're, they're, from what I've seen in the videos and what you've told me, Basically, people who were there were maybe a couple of dog walkers yeah. and some people who quite like golf and live at local area. So they're in a more relaxed environment. They know 
I mean, you know you're not going to pull your bloody Venkman Otto out and get it signed. Exactly. And yeah. I mean, he probably didn't really want to talk to you about like films and stuff like that. But we weren't hounding him. The, the best, the golden part of this story is he approached us. Yeah. He strolled over to us. He I mean, it might have been when you probably stood the uh, weird mouth <laughs> wide open, sweating, Do you know what pointing. I, you know what I did, and then somebody shouts... Bill fucking Murray <laughs> at top of the voice. Yeah, I did. Well, don't well, walk because you're trying to get fast. That were after we'd made the initial oh, greeting. That's, you know what? Walking away from it, that's my favourite part. Zombieland, when Woody Harrelson goes to his house and he says, it's Bill fucking Murray. I did that to Bill Murray himself while he were just casually chatting to these women and he pissed him saying, he were howling. He loved it. So I am so satisfied knowing I made Bill Murray laugh. I had Bill Murray in stitches. Not just giggling, he was howling. Right, so let's... We've covered Bill Murray, and I'm sure we'll be covering Bill Murray for quite a bit because no, he's still yeah. all on high. Uh, can I just but, say, though, like I said, two diehard Ghostbusters fans, and we never mentioned the word Ghostbusters. Well, I'm seriously, once. we're so surprised that you would never mention Ghostbusters. Yeah, but it's... Because you ask everybody about Ghostbusters 3. Yeah. You ask bloody... Uh, Jason Mewes. Jason Mewes about I Ghostbusters fact, 3. Can we, can we ask... So where were you when you saw we met Bill Murray? Because we're there, we've planned it, we're in that zone. You don't know anything about Bill Murray at that point, do you? No. So where were you? Like, did you see that? I'd finished work and just got home and looked on and there'd been a few messages. And then some, you would put on a picture and uh, you were Bill Murray and somebody said it's your dad. <laughs> Photoshopped and I'm like thinking... Oh, that looks great. Right. Good. It's, it, I did Photoshop that. <laughs> and then you put video on. And, I, and obviously. Well, it was like a fraction of the video. Yeah, already. I was just like, that is. The words I used was un fucking believable. <laughs> yeah. Because I was so. I couldn't believe it. I was so made up for you guys. And I was so jealous that you'd met such a top celeb. Yeah. He's not. He's past a. a, a, a an A-lister, isn't well, he's a very, he's, 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 a, he's a pop, I want, he's a pop I want culture to say icon, isn't he? Because I, I think he's a loader. I think he's yeah. an independent. Oh, yeah. I think he does whatever he wants. Yeah, and there ain't many like that, is no. there? No. And I'll tell you something, this golf course, you had Vladimir Klitschko, you had, you know, Justin, Justin Blake. But I'd have loved to have met JT. I, I don't want to sound like a stalker, but it was cool seeing all these big names, recognisable faces... I will be going back there. I'm going to Probably drive. Yeah. I'm going to drive up there. So, celebrities meeting celebrities. Obviously, your top of your list now is going to be Bill Murray. Well, but let tell me your other uh, another favourite celebrity that you've met. You, that goes up there with. I mean, but nobody's going to beat Bill Murray now. That's fucking gone. But who's one of the other best celebrities you've ever met? Well, it's a funny situation. Some of them because. A couple of years ago, we was in California on holiday and we decided to drive up to Malibu and we called into a restaurant called Nobu and no, none of us really knew what Nobu were. Ridiculously fancy restaurant. We sat having us food. David Beckham is on the table next to us with his kids. Now, because he's got his kids, none of us dared approach him. Again, talking about that setting, Bill Murray approaches us. David Beckham... I mean, his kids will play fighting like next to our table, but you can't go up to him while he's having tea with his kids, can you? Well, some people would, and some people wouldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't. I'd yeah, be exactly. Like, but that, we're yeah. all, well, some like you say, some people have just gone Bex. Yeah, but, <laughs> but it sat with me that since it, literally, it were I could have touched him. It would. It, it's funny though that because if you think about it, let's say if it went Beckham sat there, if it had been Bill Murray. We probably would have had to set some. Yeah, do you know what I mean? I, think, I don't know. I, don't I think know. I, no. I think you do because do you, I think there's some people where you think you're never going to get this. I, chance. This is. I've got to take this chance. Yeah. Well, like I said, that, so it annoyed me for years that we were with Beckham and didn't even speak to him. It was the atmosphere we were in. But now meeting God, uh, meeting Bill Murray. Yeah, Meg's up for it. So forget um, Beckham. It's forget. So are you asking celebrities that we've already met or we want to meet? Well, that was my next question that you jumped in. Well, so what I'm saying is, I wanted to know who's who's your favourite one you'd met. Obviously, Bill Murray's your top. Who's your other favourite? Well, I, I've got to say Arnie, and I mentioned it a minute ago. It was brief, but just to be in the same room as Arnold Schwarzenegger, 
was just unbelievable. I remember just before, when we got led to the room that you were in to have a photo and meet him, I was with my friend um, Boyd, and we were stood by the door to go in, and I just started going. I, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying I had a panic attack, but I looked, leaned in and seen him in the room, and I went, oh, Rob, you're going to have to go first. You are going to have to go first. So Rob went in, and I leaned in, and I could see him like, greet each other and shake hands and have a photo, and I thought, oh, my God, because Arnie is all our heroes in it. Yeah, Do you yeah, know what I mean? definitely. And I, I, I just looked in, and I, see, I saw him, and I thought... Oh my god, right, here we go. And the thing where I was nervous as well, because you want the photo to come out well, you don't want to look like a knobhead on picture. You know what I mean? If you're pulling mm. a stupid face. But like it's like I say, um it, it it was it was I paid for the for the opportunity, so it was different to Bill Murray because it was a bit more I don't know, rushed and what have you, but it was still amazing. I mean I've got another good one. Well, but again, this is, I don't know if it counts or not. So, so Tom's on about ones where he's actually met him. Yeah. You're on ones where you've seen him through like a window. Or no, no, like no, <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm watching this film. Yeah. Well, yeah. I know one guy who used to go to school with his last and her cousin's brother. <laughs> Someone he went to school with once walked past Queen. All right. right, go on. What about this? It is with this one. Eminem concert. I look up and there's a guy with a yellow vest on, Rex, and I'm thinking, who is oh, that guy? I know I agree with this. I'm in London, Twickenham, at an Eminem. I mean, this is my first Eminem concert, and anybody who knows me, right? I'm just a, a diehard Eminem fan. Everybody knows that. Like, diehard, absolute Eminem fan. I always will be. He's one of my heroes, like, beyond belief. So, this is my first Eminem concert, and I'm focused on that. Look forward, Tom Hardy. Tom I Hardy. Tom Hardy. Tom I'd, I'd have had to go over exactly. there. I would have had to. Yeah. At least waited maybe till a break. Or, or I love end. this. Tony says this. But I've been no, because I do get right invited. I've been, right, with, I've been with him to conventions where we've walked around the corner and we've seen him. And he just freezes. Yeah, we once because... went to one where Brett Hart were and he's going... <gasps> And then like, they're signalling us to go over and he's just won't move. Yeah, because I'm that bothered that they're just going to say no. <laughs> yeah. And it's just going to be so good to... Can I, have a, can, I have a, can I have a photo, please? Piss off. Yeah, yeah, sure, that's just 70 quid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So music starts and everybody's bouncing all over the place. You can't go up to him, you know, a real Slim Shady's playing and you're going, Hi, Tom Hart! No, that's why you wait for a break or you wait for him to leave. I'm yeah. going to say I would not be that arsed about that. He's oh, all, I, I love Tom Hardy. I'm just... I'm just I don't well, know. Right. he's biggest actor so, in the UK. So, you can now... Nah, you can meet one star. One. Who would you want to meet? Who are you asking first? Um, you go first, Tom. You've already answered it for me. You know who I'd meet. I've always Jim said... Carrey. Yeah. I've always said there's probably three or four people I'd like to meet. Arnold Schwarzenegger, Bill Murray... Jim Carrey, and then I'd probably say Cristiano or Ronaldo because he's the best footballer ever. But I don't think Ronaldo is ever going to happen. Well, who knows? But I'd have to say Jim Carrey. Right. That would just be unbelievable. What about you, Rob? Again, it's got to be Eminem. Marshall I was going to say Eminem. I can't. I, the thing is, meeting him would worry me because if it didn't go well, that would be like my. You know when they said don't meet your heroes? Yeah, this is what I'm saying that about if, it's, if the shit. See, I'd love to meet Tom Hanks. Oh, oh yeah, I mean yeah. Tom Hanks well, would be I think, he's a re- I think he's a regular at that golf course. Yeah, well, I always we're, think with Tom glad. Hanks, right? If you look way back when at classic actors that have gone past, like, and I mean the greatest of all time, Clint Eastwood. Yeah, he's still around, but he's he's not at his peak, is he? Tom Hanks. We're quite lucky to be alive when Tom Hanks is like making these. Yeah, he yeah, is yeah. literally he is the great one of the, the greatest. greatest. Actors. Thing is, yeah, me, I think so. He's not. He's not got the looks. He's not got the body. But he's the all-American hero, isn't he? Yeah. He's just. He a is an actor's man. actor. Yeah, he is. And what you say is his best film. Uh, oh, it's hard oh, because there's so many. There's Castaway, Castaway, Apollo Eleven, Apollo Thirteen. Sorry. Big. 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 I mean, they're Big's all classic. classic. Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump. You could go on. That's, that's actually one on. of my favourite. Yeah, Terminal's a good film. You know, when I was younger and I used to watch Forrest Gump, I used to find it so sad. It's one of my favourites. He's such a nice guy in that film. One of my favourites, full stop. Like, yeah. It is. To me, it seemed would be. I mean, if he walked up to me on Gold Coast, I'd think i pee myself. Is, that, is it the Simpsons movie at the end when he goes, yeah. I'm Tom Hanks, and please stop bothering me. Stop coming up to me. 
So well, that's what started you off. Yeah. This is the thing. So if I were to meet Eminem and it didn't go well and he just brushed me aside like Stan, the so- yeah. I'd be devastated. I'd See, be I don't think he would. So now I think... No, I think, I think Eminem of yesteryear would. But I think now, I don't think he would. I think he is now. He's not the... He used to be angry all the time, didn't he? But I think now he'd probably have a bit more time for fans. So I kind of think I wouldn't want to meet him just in case it ruins... You know what I mean? Just because yeah. I've got such a connection to his music. But right. I tell you, it is a point I was going to... So you're mentioning all these heroes and all these... You know, we go to these conventions, we go to these meet, like evening with... How much would Bill Murray charge at a Comic Con to have something signed? Well, it would. It should be like hundreds. I don't read into stuff like that. He'd never do it. Would like, it? Well, you he can't put, turn up. You can't put a price on what happened to us, can you? No. Do you know what Priceless. I mean? So, no, I just they mean just for example. So they have no, some... because you have people like fucking Lester exactly. jumping from right charging exactly. twenty oh, no. quid. Tony, we're, for the love of sci-fi, we went to last year, and they had um, the two kids from Stranger Things there. Remember how much that were for a photo? About 80, 90 quid. Yeah, stupid. And even then, they're not really going to This is what I'm oh, saying. No, that were it. Brandon Ralph, he were at last one. And he were charging something like £120. I remember one stupid. we went to, and Liv Tyler were there. It were about 400 quid for a photo. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I know I paid for Arnie, but when else are you going to get to meet Arnie? That, I were happy to pay him. That moment for me when he threw us them drinks and walked towards us. I can't. Well, that's, you, can, you can't put a price on that. You I just can't, can't. Yeah, I can't even emphasise how great. But I think it that's was. how he rolls as well, isn't it? That's what he likes. He would never. Take yeah, it would, a yeah, but he would no comment. No, would, no. This is what I'm saying. He would never be there. He lives. or it would be like the most strangest convention. It'd be like turn up at like Doncaster. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Just because he were walking past. What would you say is the definitive Bill Murray movie? The Bill Murray. Movie. Well, to me, it's Groundhog Day. Yeah. I love that film and yeah. I think that while he stands out he is part of the casting Ghostbusters well it's an ensemble well, we ground movie, up, yeah well we ground up day I thought it's too. just him it's right we're going to move off now because we spent a lot of time on that but it is a Bill Murray special obviously we wanted to talk about it so now I'm going to cover movie comic news so I know I did, said I was going to do this every week but Guys, jump in because a lot of this stuff is really about films and TV. So, there's no real comic news this week. It's all about TV and films. So, the new sort of like big superhero TV show that's allegedly going to be big, Batwoman. Oh, yeah. Any interest in that? Ruby Rose, the TV show. No interest whatsoever. Everything I've ever watched with Ruby Rose in, she is a... Triple X... Two, three, five. What, you're I asking don't know. what she were in? Yeah, he were asking. She were in Orange is the New Black. She was in The Meg. Um, she was just in shit stuff. Right, moving on from that. <laughs> no journalists allowed at Joker Hollywood premiere. Yeah, I've oh, seen yeah. that. Oh, yeah. It's caused. So I'm guessing, and this isn't a spoiler because none of us have seen this, this the families of the Aurora Theatre shooting when Dark Knight Rises played, somebody turned up as Joker and shot the cinema up. And now the families... The fam- I don't think he was dressed as Joker. I don't think he, he was He sprayed his hair. He sprayed his hair, well, yeah. Say, they, 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 well, they, they tried to sensationalise that he was the Joker. Yeah, and, and I think when he gave his name, in court, I think he might have said, like, the Joker. So, but, but, so the families of those victims have spoken out yeah. against this movie, which leads me to think he shoots up the audience in Joker, which we did predict a few weeks yeah, ago. Yeah, but... But what? So if it's upsetting, I know this sounds harsh, but don't watch it. I think the problem is, is, and and like I say, I only want to touch on this briefly. Is it's hard to do something about a tragic event that has not happened to somebody? If you know what I mean. Yeah. If if you did a story about a serial killer, then the families of somebody who's been a victim of serial killers. Is going to get upset, but mm. how do you cover? Do you know what I mean? If you yeah. cover like a plane crash, well, my family died in a plane yeah. crash, or even even in the little. Do you know what I mean? I think do you know the, what I'm trying to yeah, say? Yeah, I've read an article that um, theaters in LA are increasing police presence on the premiere because they think that there's going to be some Somebody violence. Say. Yeah, but and the director Todd Phillips, when he got asked about it, got really mad and said. I don't understand this. Why is nobody saying something about John Wick? He kills 300 people in one yeah, film. Yeah. But I can see... The publicity they give it gives it gives to me 
bad people a chance. Yeah. If they didn't say out about that, nobody would do out. I mean, it's I can see both sides of the coin because John Wick's an anti-hero. John Wick is the hero. However, Joker, I mean, we've not seen it yet. We're going to see it in a few days. He's portraying a man that's pushed to the extreme and... And um, all I can guess is that it, it doesn't yeah. end well when he gets well, we'll pushed cover that this. level. We'll cover this more in a few so days. I, I can we'll come s- back to yeah. Joker. Let's so- put a line on that and then we'll come back to it. The other thing, like I said, we've touched on this before, but I just wanted to cover this briefly. Spider-Man's back. Spider-Man's back. Can, back I, just, again. can I just say... So, and, and the director of the previous one is going to allegedly direct it again. John Watts. Yep. Director of Far From Home, is it? Yeah, John Wells. I'm so fed up to the back teeth of Spider-Man. Met your mind up. To me, all that's happened is they've seen the uproar and they've come up with a deal to do a film which sees him leave the MCU. That's all I think's happened. I don't... Th- I, that's, right, that's it. We'll come back to that yeah. at a later date. We've covered that. All I'll lots. say is, make your goddamn mind up. Yeah, we'll see. If I went impressed with last one, I'm not looking forward to the next one. You know, not bothered. Tom Holland was supposed to appear at the same golf course we saw Bill Murray at, but he didn't turn up. He's filming number three. Well, I'm guessing it, it would be too far. It's only having a tug of war with Say you. Andrews, Andrews was too far from home. Ha <laughs> ha. Hey. Right, let's finish off then. What have you been watching this week? I know you've been in Scotland, yeah. but have you watched anything? You know what? I've I have. watched quite a bit. Yeah, I have. I watched. I watched No Surprise, I watched Groundhog Day, and I watched Lost in Translation. Obviously, I've been watching Power as well. Lost in Translation, I, I, it's great. It's, mm. It is, it's a film. No. It's a film I zone out watching. It's basically, Bill Murray plays Bill Murray. I had to watch it as soon as I got back. I just loved it. Yeah, fair enough. Last time I watched it, the hype was a bit crazy. Didn't understand it, but now I watched it. Loved it. Mm, maybe I need to watch it. I've only watched it once. Tom? Maybe you need to meet him and then watch it. Maybe I do. I watched a couple of films. I let her pick. We watched 47 Metres Down, which is the... Oh, is that like a shark trapped in a cage sort yeah. of thing? Yeah. Sounds shit. <laughs> yeah. It were okay. You know what you're going to get. It were okay. And we watched another film called, I think it's A Simple Favour... Um, with the what's the the lead lass out of uh, Pitch Perfect, the small girl, Anna Kendrick. Oh, Anna oh, Kendrick. Yeah, it's her. And uh, somebody told me it were a bit done in the same style as Gone Girl by David Fincher. But I've got to say, I thought it was utter shit. Gone Girl's good. For yeah, me. Gone Girl's good, but a simple favour. Now. So uh, all I can say on those two films is I get to choose next time. Well, I watch SWAT. What, with Colin Farrell? Yeah. Hello, yeah. cool. <laughs> what? The? Yeah, great film. Throwback. Yeah, yeah. he's so Why good. Why did you watch it, that? It was just on. They've relaunched, like, plug in here. They've relaunched <laughs> Sony channels on to Freeview. And it was just on. And it's funny because it's one of Jeremy Renner's first movies. Oh, is he in it? Yeah. People forget he, he he's was He's like the main baddie in it, Jeremy Renner. Is it? Uh, and there's loads of other like stars who turn up. I never and it watched is that. absolutely, you've got to, it, seriously, watch it. It's so much fun. It's bloody brilliant. I love it. Watch that film. There is a new film we watched yesterday. Oh, yeah. The, when uh, did you watch it? I watched it the other day. Oh, it might be Monday or something. Yesterday. I didn't watch it yesterday. No, you oh, watched I yesterday. Confused, I didn't watch yesterday. Well, yesterday. Watch I it. watched <laughs> it the other day. Is it out? Yesterday. Yeah, what, yeah. What, on Netflix? Oh, it's on, so it's on for streaming. <laughs> you can uh, <laughs> download it. What is it. your address to it? <laughs> it um, is. No, uh, you know what? That's a film I proper want to watch. Do you know what? It's absolutely brilliant. Get it watched tonight. That's your choice to later to piss off. Uh, <laughs> I do want to watch it. <laughs> that's not aimed at you, dude. Don't beat me up. Uh, yeah, watch it. It's really good. She'll love it. Is it good? It's I, brilliant. It's classic. Turns up, it? turns up, isn't it, for all, most is it? of the film? Oh, yeah. I thought you were a cameo. No, a cameo. It's in, it might as well be like part of main cast. Because he's in it that much. Another, it's a great really good film, actually. It's classic, British, yeah, just nice right. film. Does I it, like is it, it Danny Boyle? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah There's this. another film just like that that I wanted to watch called Blinded by the Light. Did you see that? No, bro. I, a young Asian lad grows up in South London. Yeah, his, his parents want him to go into. Yeah, Bo- well, don't you? It wants him into Elvis. Or no, something. Springsteen. Springsteen. His, his parents. Yeah, that's it. His parents. Everybody's got a hungry heart. It's the only film he let. Is, uh, that, is that a Bruce Springsteen song? Yeah, yeah. 
Do well, his, pa- his parents that, right? want to raise him in Bollywood. Yeah. And he's... He's ready like, to Springsteen. I love Bruce Springsteen. Yeah. But, like, obviously we just said it, but that is the only film Springsteen has ever licensed his movie to, his music. And that's a British indie film. I reckon that'd be a good film. Yeah. Yesterday, seriously, is a good so, film. It, so, it's out, get, it, yeah, get it watched. Get it watched. It's brilliant. And the last film I watched, we watched, we did watch yesterday, uh, and you'll love this, and... Uh, and It'll lead into some more subjects coming up. I watched Miracle on 34th Street, oh, a nice yeah. Christmas mover. See, while what we're in, people uh, while let, we're me just, let me say this about Tony. Tony hates Christmas songs. No. Yeah, you do. I did. Tony <laughs> Tony hates Muppets Christmas Carol. That film is shit. No, right? it's not. But he it loves is. he loves Every other Christmas film. No, Fred, the reason Fred why Close. I hate Christmas songs Close, is I used to work at Asda, and <laughs> basically yeah. I used to work nights. And I remember when it clicked on, so it used to play like old pop songs. And then it clicked on one night, and then every single song for about three months were Christmas songs. And seriously, it drove me bloody <laughs> mad. <laughs> Seriously. But it's funny with that because I always have this debate. So let's say, for example, a summer song. A generic summer song by. Ed summertime. Summer, yeah. summer, summer time. What time of year would that be played? Well, you'd probably play that about. Or is it May? That, June? No, that's played all year round. But why do people lose the shit when a, some well known songs are played for a couple of months of the year? Why do people get so angry? Because it's just. Can, I, you can I ask an important question? Go on. Why did you watch that? Because it was just. I'm not saying it's it was not just good. on film four, and I tell you, and it was just you get into it. Don't well, you? I, I, I ain't seen it. I, is it. I tell you a bit where there's a bit it. where this lass comes up seriously, and she said a woman brings this lass up. She says uh, she's deaf, but uh, she just wants to see you. you. Don't have to talk to her, and then. He starts signing to it and seriously, I start on, crying he, every time. Flip of the bird. No, stop ruining <laughs> it. It's though. a beautiful moment. I'll tell you what will be on telly soon. There's a Christmas movie channel they set up, isn't there? Well, that's another one of these yeah. Sony things. Yeah, yeah. There's a Sony Christmas channel. Is it on now? I, I don't think say, it's come on now. It's a bit early. But, but well, too early. Oh, We're in bloody shops uh, and they've got all Christmas stuff. Oh, no, set I up. went in uh, Primark earlier and that is. Full of yeah. Christmas stuff. Well, it's the way I, I mean. Yeah, but full. the problem is, you mix. They then mix it up, and there's Christmas and Halloween. So you've got like Santa wearing somebody a witch's ought to, hat. Somebody ought yeah. to make a film that combines Christmas and, and Halloween, Halloween, like Nightmare Before <laughs> Christmas. I love right. Christmas. Right, time's almost up. What I'm going to just go back to is one thing I did forget, and this is uh, what Tom's going to do for us: is to put on. Uh, a little poll. We've started having these polls every uh, every week, and I want to know Marvel versus DC. I want to know what, and that's around the cinema cinematic universe. So I want to know what your favourite is, Marvel or DC. Tom will put that up on for the poll. Have a vote, and let's see what like uh, McDonald's, if, McDonald's or Burger King. You got to pick a side. You've got well. You've got to add McDonald's every time. But this is funny because oh. if, if we put a poster of the Dark Knight versus the MCU, we know which will win. But if it's Batman Superman, well, well I want to do ev- it's everything. So anything that's linked to DC, whatever film or thingy, and anything to do with Marvel, I want to know what's your favourite DC Marvel. Also. Let us know you what your celebrity meetings have been, hmm. where you've met celebrities. I want to know top celebrities, lost celebrities, where you've met them. Like, I met Christopher Biggins, one of our likes of my life. No big deal. Bit bigger than fucking meeting Bill Murray, meeting Christopher Tell you Biggins. What, you know when people say never meet your heroes? Bill Murray is a hero of mine, and he could not have been any greater. He was perfect. He was so pleasant, and he you know, was brilliant. Right. If, you get, if you get a chance, hunt him down. Well, <laughs> that's it now for that moment. So we're going to bring that to a close. So, it's been another uh, interesting uh, evening, gentlemen. Bill fucking Murray! Watch watch the video, guys. Seriously, watch the video. So, I want to say a goodbye from me. Goodbye from me. Don't forget to check out our Instagram. Forget where to watch films. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. Bye.